What's up everybody? Welcome back to another drawing tutorial Patreon request today from Emmanuel on Patreon, Dr. Robotnik from the Sonic movie. So this is Jim Carrey as Dr. Robotnik. So all Jim Carrey with a big mustache. Let's go. <laughs> I'm on a landscape paper. Use a pencil eraser and hit pause if I go too fast when I move my hand. So Center point of my page about here. I'd say that's where his eyes will be. Maybe a little bit higher. Right, but roughly eyes along the middle. And he's got these like frowning sort of creepy evil looking eyes, right? So we're going to start with those frown lines, right? So just starting in the middle here, we're going to like curve a frown line across. And these are like his eyebrows as well. So it kind of like curves across the top of his eye. And then like up at the end, kind of here. Okay. And we'll just do the other side of his eyebrow here as well. So it's like this crinkly, bumpy kind of thing here. And his eyebrow here. And if you want, you know, some texture maybe on just on the eyebrow. Do, 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 do. Like that. And then we'll do the other side. So another sort of eyebrow line. Like so crinkly kind of thing. Oops around here right, and then the other side of the eyebrow along the top and down right, now they don't have to be the same on both sides because he's you know kind of a realistic kind of character we can add some texture if you want just on the eyebrow here. Just make it kind of hairy looking. You can shade it in completely if you wanted, if you're using pencil. There's like some hairs on the end here. Like so, right. So his eyes are underneath his eyebrows, right? Because so, he's got this evil look kind of staring out from under his eyebrows. So his tear duct kind of here, right, comes around there. It's kind of like an arrow pointing in. And then the bottom of his eye comes around here. Kind of up this way. Yeah, like that with small eyes. And then his iris. Kind of a semicircle, half circle underneath the eyebrow there. And then his pupil in underneath that one. And he's he's like real old and wrinkly, right? So he's got like these lines around his eyes. Maybe an eyelid line there. Something else coming down this way. Right, so that kind of thing. And then his eye on the other side. So we have like the tear duct coming down here, like an arrow pointing in. And then it comes around the bottom. And up the other side into there. And then his eye. So it's a half circle underneath here. And then his pupil. And his tear duct just there. You try to make the pupils the same size. Right, so then his nose is kind of wrinkly and has all these sort of bumps and things coming across the nose here. And some more eyelid lines and stuff coming down around. 
his eye here and some wrinkles and, and stuff around his eye. Look at this. Right, so his nose is kind of bumpy, right? So it has, it looks like Jim Carrey broke his nose at some point because it's not straight. Um, so it kind of comes out around here, down. Maybe something similar on this side. We'll straighten it up for him. Comes down like that. And then his nostrils come out the side here. Like so, right? And then it comes down to a point down here. So it goes around, back up. The pointy sort of nose and joins the nostrils there. Back to somewhere on the tip. And kind of like that. Do, do, do. Kind of smooth up these lines a little bit. So then he's got that big mustache that comes out from the from the nose here, right? So it goes kind of bumping, waving this way. Nice. Like that. And then something similar out from this side of his nose again. So it goes. past his face real big out to there right and then you'll have like a couple of little hair spikes kind of out here and then go back into right underneath his nose so we've got like some hairy sort of lines here right and they'll join together then so this kind of thing and then it'll go out around Waving as it goes. Same thing again on this side. Got some little hair spikes there. So then we can add some texture to this. So some like texture lines and Make it look hairy. Right, kind of like that. And then we have his mouth in under here, right? So he's kind of smiling, you can see some of his teeth. So we can see, let's do, what we do? Mouth open, smiling, or what? Maybe mouth closed. I will go mouth open. We'll, cut, we'll show, show the picture. So we'll go top lip, and it comes down in the middle, back up on that side. We might have like a top lip line kind of there. And then his bottom lip, just down here, open the mouth up. Kind of like that. And then there's some teeth. So right in the middle, or like his top teeth. Then there. Another one there. Here. Here. Right, like that. So. So I'm going to just add a shadow to the bottom of some of these, right? So I'm going to darken up 
just to show that there's like a gap underneath these teeth. So you just make this line kind of thicker just to show that there's like a shadow underneath the mouth just down there. It's kind of an easy way to put some shadows down there. And then his bottom lip just down here. bit of a shadow underneath this he's got a line for his chin just here so then his actual chin so it's real square just down this way. So real square sort of round chin. Round on the edges. All right, goes like that way. Yeah, this isn't too bad. It actually looks like Jim Carrey a little bit. And so like sometimes there's some marks on the lips, you know, these sort of wrinkles and things on his lips. Some more maybe hatching shadow in there. Okay, so his jaw then goes up the side of his face, up to there. Same on this side, kind of. Not exactly the same on both sides, but pretty similar. And then he's got this sort of line, skin line coming down his cheek here and like down here, here, like so, some more sort of wrinkles on his eyes kind of. Right, so then side of his face then comes up past his mustache just here, so his jaw keeps going up. And then around where his eyebrows would be. Similar over here. A little bit of a turn maybe on his head. So it'll just mean one ear will be smaller than the other. You can maybe like a cheekbone here. There. So then his ear on this side comes out this way. Comes up here, around real big. Down around to here. And then some bones and ligaments. So some ear lines kind of inside, right? So this kind of stuff. shadow in here and then his other here on this side is a little bit different right it's like a skinnier kind of ear because his head is a bit turned away I'm doing this from the movie poster if you're wondering so the ears are a little bit skinnier on this side And then ear lines inside. Like that. Maybe a shadow just in there as well. So then his bald head. So big round bald head coming around here. And 
this side. Like that. And he's got like wrinkles on his forehead and goggles and all this kind of stuff. So like just coming up from the corner of his eyes, he's got these like lines for his, you know, the temples on his head. So like the side of his sort of head here, side of his skull kind of thing. And we'll draw those in, right? And then all on this side, right? There's some wrinkles coming across like his forehead. Some going up this way, just light lines, right? And then we have like, is there a little bit of stubble on his chin? I don't know, like these light sort of I forgot these beard lines or something just down here. There's not too much of them, but I can see them so. We might as well draw them in. Kind of like that. So. Right, so then his goggles, right? So we've got goggles on his head. And his head must be a little bit turned away because they're different kind of both sides. So we'll do these two circles. <laughs> Right, that seems to be the best way to start. So we've got one here. And if you have something like circular to draw around, you know, like a coin or a cup or something that was the right size, you know, feel free to use that. You know, so one circle there. Another one. Here, like so, and then so this one, so the, it's like a double line, right? So you got to do it again. So just go around. It's got like a silver edge. Do it like that. And this one's like the same size as that, so I'll just go inside. Always tricky to draw circles, but we'll give it our best shot. Right? Like that. So then the goggles sitting on his head. So we've got like this coming across the top. Down, up, and around the back here. And there's no straps or anything, so they're just like sitting on his forehead. How does he do that? That's magic. Up into the middle, round, down, up the other side. This one like touches the side of his head here, and goes up and into there. And these have some details on them as well. So like some extra sort of lines coming around here. Into the middle of his head like that. And this might have an edge just coming around here as well. Something else on this side. Sort of circular line there, and then another edge line on this along the bottom. And to there, and then there's like this little box or something on the edge. So like the line down, in, it's got an edge going that way. And something here too, but it's real skinny. 
Do, do, do. Right, and then we'll just try and tidy some of these lines up. That and then if we want like more sort of wrinkles on his head, maybe like a line just for the temple of his head there. Go around like so. And then just smooth up some of our lines here. Maybe just thicken up the edge of the goggles a little bit. Okay, so that's pretty much his face. And then we'll go down and we'll do his clothing, right? So we can just see his neck here, right? So you can't really see the other side because he's got this collar that comes down underneath his chin and goes down across his body down to there. Like that. And then he's got a collar that comes across his neck here with a sort of a red line that goes down the, the middle there. And then his collar comes out like so. And then we'll bring it down to there. And then this has a bit of like an edge line to it. that goes underneath his mustache, underneath his neck, all down that way. And then another fold that goes here, another edge line there. And then his shoulder goes out this way. And down here. And his arm seems to be a bit outstretched, so we've got just this kind of shoulder line there. Then another line going down this way. Another fold line or something in there. I always find on doing sort of semi realistic characters like this, if you thicken up the edge lines, it always helps. I don't know why, just well, I do. It, it's because it makes it sort of stand out and it makes the the lines kind of inside look a little bit sharper or cleaner or something. See, just thicken up the edge a little bit. Of course, this does help if you're if you're doing it with ink after you do your pencil. I'm not forgetting his other shoulder. I'm just tidying up all these. Right, and then, so his other collar comes out from underneath his mustache kind of here. And then it'll go down like that. And his other shoulder's kind of here. And then we have like an edge line or something here, like a red edge. And then a golden clip, just here. Maybe like a fold line or two there. And again, just thicken this up a little bit.
do do do. So sometimes at the bottom of things like the, his eyebrows and stuff, it can darken up, it can add some shadows and things. You know, and just make things stand out a little bit more. His nostrils there. Right, but now you can just add whatever you want, shade or color. But I think I'll leave it there, guys. That's how to draw Dr. Robotnik. Let me just after seeing like some eyelashes just down here. Jim Carrey's Dr. Robotnik. From Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Hope was helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.